Drew Barrymore slammed, Joe Jonas breaks down on stage, and The Rock and Oprah are under fire. We are entering our second full week of September, and wow, do we have a lot to unpack. One story making waves in the entertainment industry is the controversy surrounding Drew Barrymore's talk show amidst an ongoing writer's strike. Fans and fellow celebrities alike are expressing disappointment over her decision to continue her show without writers. The strike initiated by SAG AFTRA and WGA back in July serves as a protest against several issues plaguing the entertainment world. One of the key concerns shared by both parties is the rise of AI technology, which poses a threat to writers and actors alike. The fear is that companies might replace human jobs with artificial intelligence potentially leading to a loss of employment opportunities. Writers are advocating for minimum staffing requirements in series, while actors are seeking changes to self-taped auditions rules. Streaming services, a dominant force in the industry, have played a significant role in these issues. Shorter seasons, reduced residual pay, and other challenges associated with the expansion of streaming platforms have made it increasingly difficult for actors and writers to sustain their livelihoods. The persuasive fear of AI in the entertainment industry is a valid concern. AI has advanced to a point where it can generate content, including scripts that closely mimic human creativity. This raises questions about the future of writers and actors that's increasingly reliant on technology. I mean, there is not a single industry that I don't think fears AI taking over their job just a bit. For actors, there's the added concern that AI could replicate their likeliness, potentially dismissing the need for real-life performers, especially for groups such as background actors. While AI can be cost-effective for production companies, it has the potential to drastically reduce job opportunities in already competitive fields. Big companies would no longer have to hire writers or actors if they replace with AI and many supporting the strike wants to feel secure with the position and not having to worry about a robot taking it one day. Some prominent celebrities such as Seth MacFarlane and Pete Davidson have thrown their support behind those participating in the strike. Pete Davidson, known for his comedic talents and generosity, was spotted handing out pizza to protesters. Meanwhile, Seth MacFarlane, with his massive $200 million deal with NBC Universal, has taken a stand by quote-unquote quitting Family Guy and American Dad while the the WGA reaches a satisfactory agreement. It's heartening to see influential figures in the industry use their platforms to support those who might not have the same resources or voice. Especially with these two major celebrities, their support just further proves how many people have the backs of those striking. However, this support from other celebrities highlights the confusion surrounding Drew Barrymore's decision to continue her show amidst the strike. While her show may not directly violate any SAG after rules, it does employ WGA writers. This means that her show will either involve non-WGA members violating members of the WGA or potentially no writers at all. It is important to acknowledge the diverse opinions surrounding Drew Barrymore's show continuation and some fans and industry insiders have expressed their disappointment, much like Felicia Day, known for her role in Supernatural. There were even reports of audience members being removed from the show's live tapings for showing support towards the strike. Critics argue that if we are going to scrutinize Drew Barrymore, we should do the same for all the shows continuing during the strike and not just her. This situation raises questions about the industry's dynamic, ethics, and the role of celebrities in advocating for change. What are your thoughts on this complex issue? We would love to hear from you. Now let's shift our focus to the ongoing saga involving Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner's divorce. Joe recently made headlines for addressing the rumors and speculation surrounding the end of their marriage during a live show. To provide some context, Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner's divorce has been a hot topic since the filing became public, and speculations about the reasons behind the split have been rampant, with some even suggesting that Joe's first public appearance post-divorce seemed like a PR stunt. Joe was photographed with his two daughters and their nanny enjoying lunch outdoors. While this might seem like an everyday activity for most of us, for celebrities facing media scrutiny, it raised eyebrows. Sophie Turner had been vocal about her desire to keep their children's lives private and shielded from the spotlight. So seeing their daughter's photos surface right after divorce announcement fueled suspicions about Joe's intentions. And since then, many people have spoke out with their opinions 
all over social media. The public's reaction was swift, with many beginning to speculate that Joe might be the real issue in their marriage. So over the weekend, Joe Jonas took a bold step during one of his shows in LA to confront those ongoing rumors and address the controversy. He spoke directly to the audience, stating that unless they hear it from his lips, they shouldn't believe it at all. And Joe expressed his gratitude for the love and support he and his family received during this challenging time. The public's reaction to Joe's statement has been mixed, with fans divided into Team Joe and Team Sophie. Regardless of opinions, what matters most is that they can co-parent effectively and provide a safe and happy environment for their daughters. I would love to hear what your thoughts are on the situation and if you were surprised Joe even addressed it at all. I know I'm a little surprised. Now let's move forward onto a different story involving two huge influential celebrities and that is The Rock and Oprah. They've recently faced backlash for asking their fans to contribute to funding efforts at helping the Maui wildfire victims. In early August of this year, a devastating wildfire tore through Maui causing over $5.5 billion worth of damage, displacing 11,000 people and tragically resulting in at least 115 deaths. The aftermath of this natural disaster called for urgent assistance and recovery efforts. The Rock and Oprah used their immense social media influence to spread awareness about the need for donations. While it's commendable that they leveraged their platforms to support a good cause, it's their donation amounts that have stirred controversy. The combined contributions from these two extraordinarily wealthy celebrities amounted to $10 million. And yes, $10 million is a ton of money that majority of us will never see. However, the public's reaction to this funding effort has been mixed to say the least. Some arguing that the contribution is valuable and appreciative considering that not all wealthy individuals choose to donate to such causes and others, however, are deeply frustrated that The Rock and Oprah, who have substantial wealth, donated a comparably small portion of their net worth. Oprah's net worth is estimated to be over $2 billion and The Rock's net worth is reportedly to be around $250 million as of February of 2022. And these raise questions about whether they could have donated more substantial sums. Social media has been flooded with both support for their fundraising campaign and criticism for not contributing a larger share of their wealth, as well as any controversy, there are also multiple perspectives to consider. On one hand, The Rock and Oprah use their platforms to bring attention to a pressing issue and encourage others to donate. It's a positive step that they chose to give, especially considering that many celebrities don't engage in generous effort. On the other hand, the debate revolves around the proportion of their wealth donated. Some argue that given their vast resources, a $10 million donation feels like a relatively small gesture. The public's reaction reflects the broader discussion about wealth inequality and the role of celebrities in addressing societal challenges. To put it into perspective, it has been estimated that the $10 million dollars the two have donated only makes up for 0.5% of their combined net worth. That means if you had $100, 50 cents would be donated. Where do you stand on this issue and is any donation a good donation or should celebrities with immense wealth be expected to give more generously to causes they support? We would love to hear your thoughts.